First title in the event for Nebraska in 20 years here at the Drake. Really? Nico Good running there by Nico Schultz. Nico Schultz coming off the gun. Looked like he really wanted to push hard. He set for Schultz. Nico Schultz. Go coast to coast. And then it was all Nico Schultz by himself. And that was tough running. 148 46. That was a nice run by the sophomore. Drake, one of my favorite meets of all time in college, man. You guys bring the energy, the history behind it. I mean, 20 years since the last champion. I mean, to be that guy to be able to come back and bring the, the championship back to Nebraska. I mean, that's huge, man. So Drake Ridley's one of my favorite ones and energy crossing that line, sensational. 50 degrees, rainy, windy, and we love it. As a Midwest kid myself, being from Illinois, this is all I was used to in middle school and high school, man. Just windy, really not the best gloomy weather. And as an 800 meter runner, sometimes times don't matter. But today we're gonna make sure that time matters. We're still gonna take a shot at something great, but we got some obstacles we gotta work through in order to make that happen. So without further ado, we just finished up our morning little warm up routine, gonna eat some breakfast. We raced today at 153, but there's actually a special guest that's racing before me. Also possesses the last name Schultz, and I ain't talking about my little brother. Are y'all ready to see a 142 800? Watch this. Oh, hey, to me, Schultz! Let's go, Schultz. Let's go, Schultz. Let's go. Let's go. There you go, there you go. Hey, good job, good job. Come on. There you go, there you go. 111, turn it up. Turn it up. Oh, that's PR all day. 219, 220, 221, 222, 223. Oh yeah. yeah. 224, Kobe. <laughs> go ahead, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> OG kicked the day off with a 224 in the 800. That's a four second PR from what he had last year. As you guys can see, we have the entire layout right here, all the drip. And today we're switching up a little bit for the race. Obviously the conditions aren't ideal, but we're from Illinois. We already know what this weather's like. We ran throughout this all throughout middle school and high school. I know all my Midwest kids can relate to what it's like running through the rain, running through the wind, whatever the case may be. So our event got pushed back probably about an hour, hour and a half. We were supposed to run at 153, but we ended up getting pushed back probably like 250 to like 310, somewhere around there. Race strategy for today. Obviously, it's gonna be a two-turn double waterfall stagger, I think is what it's called. And I haven't really ran in one of these for a while, so it's gonna be pretty packed. I believe there's like 14 to 16 guys that I'm going against in the 800 today. And so I gotta make sure that if I'm in the outside alley, get to the cone immediately. And if I'm in, if I'm in the inside alley, I gotta get to the to lane one immediately too, to make sure I don't get packed in behind everybody because it's gonna get pretty jammed up. So no matter how fast you are, if you get you know jammed up position-wise, uh, you're gonna be pretty screwed. So as you guys can see, that's the, the roomie, the teammate in the back is Mr. Bryant on his phone. He is the 400 meter leg tomorrow for our SMR. And then he is also on the four x four in which I don't know if I'm on it yet, but if I'm on it, we're gonna go with a little smooth 46. You already know the vibes, but Drake relays, I'm super excited for the opportunity. I'm bouncing back after that meet in California where we, where we went 148.2. We definitely have a lot more in the tank than that, obviously. So today, no, uh, depending upon how the conditions go and how the race feels, I feel like we can drop some heat no matter what's ahead of us. So stay tuned guys. Next time you guys are gonna see me is on the track. Let's go. Well, and we're back ahead of the assigned time. We're right now 37 minutes behind the original schedule, which isn't bad considering the weather delay was 89 minutes. So caught up somewhat. And weather looking good here for the foreseeable future, although tonight could be another story. All right, enough weather talk. Nico Schultz of Nebraska takes the early lead, but now dropping down the outside. Drake Jack Burns. Well, this first 400 is right going to be quick. Second spot. Nico Schultz coming out of the coming off the gun looked like he really wanted to push hard. And get that, uh, get that pace setting, pace going up front there. But here we go, 53, 53-3. It looks like right at about the 400 meter mark, and that's a pretty spicy first lap. Jack Burns steps away. He was just a pace setter. So it's Schultz. Group with some small college runners mixed in, looking to put up some marks. You see a 
pushing the outside, Kyle Miller from Buena Vista, 200 to go. Now the table is set for Schultz. And now coming from behind, here's Fall from Arkansas State in the red. And Brewer from MSU Moorhead. But Nico Schultz is going to go coast to coast. He was 52 7. And he follows that up with a 55 7. Goes 148 46. Second place, Fall. Third place, Brewer. Let's go. Good running there by Nico Schultz. I wasn't sure what Jack Burns was going to do up front there, but he steps off with a lap to go. And then it was all Nico Schultz by himself, and that was tough running. That third 200 was where he really got his work done. There you see him on the back straights. He'd go by the pole vault pits and into that wind from last night. Doesn't seem as windy today, but man, by the time he came up to the last 100 meters, Looked like he might have some challengers, but he just went to the arms and finished this thing off. That is a nice run by the sophomore. They are expecting to score some points for them. The Cornhuskers at the, the Big Ten Outdoor Championships this year. Good run, good time in these conditions. Nice to see you again. Well done. Thank you, sir. Take, I'll take one step yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. Good? Yep, yep. Okay. Three, two, one. Nico Schultz, uh, winner of uh, the Men's uh, University College uh, 800 meters. Uh, first title in the event for Nebraska in 20 years here at the Drake Really? Uh, uh, big time stuff, 148-46. You squeezed that down uh, masterfully in, in, in the second lap. Uh, were, uh, were, uh, were, were, you, uh, were you feeling like it was maybe a little bit too pedestrian early and you know, <laughs> needed to really attack it, or, or was that okay with where the wind was? No, it's pretty funny you mentioned that. In a sense, I thought the first Drake out was actually, I didn't know he was a pacer. And so the announcer said something, I'm like, man, this guy's flying. But then I saw him drop off, and I'm like, oh snap, okay. I'm in first, let me calm down. Might came through in like 52, 53, but felt good. That's what me and my coach said, come through in 52 high, 53 low, and the guy turning up on the back stretch. But that wind, it's no joke here, man. So, uh, just, uh, just uh, for you to be able uh, to uh, to stay so purposeful and intentional with your race plan, right? And you know, and because sometimes you know, when people aren't familiar with either if there is a pacer or you know, or you know, what, like what the pacing duties are supposed to be, like just how proud are you of the fact that you, uh, you you just stayed true to Nico Schultz and executed your race? Yeah, man. I think the first 100 meters determined themselves on who was going to be leading that race because it was pretty jammed up. I think there was three false starts, so you just got to stay mentally locked in and. Not really worry about your surroundings, man. Only worry about what you and what you can control. So, Nico, how would you uh, assess uh, where you feel like you know not only the fitnesses but uh, but the turnover? You know, obviously, Big Ten right around the corner. Yeah, for that right now, give myself a B plus, A minus. Definitely some things that I work on. Definitely being stronger in that last lap. But got to go back to the lab, keep working hard, and uh, take today's win. And in Big Ten, try to get that medal. Never been a Big Ten medalist, so that's the goal. No, uh, when uh, when you when you came off uh, the, uh, the curve, you know, uh, just uh, you really, uh, really being able to uh, uh, to drive your way home, uh, like you just, you, uh, what, what was uh, what, what was that energy like? What was that emotion like? <laughs> Dude, gotta say Drake, one of my favorite meets of all time in college, man. You guys bring the energy, the history behind it. I mean, 20 years since the last champion. I mean, to be to be that guy to be able to come back and bring the the championship back to Nebraska. I mean, that's huge, man. So Drake really is one of my favorite ones, and energy crossing that line. Sensational. Awesome, man. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's go. Olympia Award stand, the winner of the University 800 meter, Nico Schultz from Nebraska. Woo! Yo, we just won Drake Relays. We we're going for that 146, but I saw the 148 and a pretty windy and gloomy day we will take now we get ready for the smr tomorrow we got to go back with another 800 or we go we will go 147 split and take home another championship but right now we enjoy the dub reflect on the race later let's go